what is up you two it's cocker prodigy back for the on today we're going to be going over the brand new theme we got which is going to be the ankle breaker theme i already looked at the theme as far as like the card so i can see like the put him into the like the power sheet stuff like that this theme is looking like a pretty stacked theme guy a lot of new uh players um making their first time appearance in this game we also got the sneak peek on uh i think i don't i don't know what day it was but we also got a sneak peek that baron davis will be in the team and he of course is but uh yeah we're gonna be going over the event the rewards we also have some interesting going on with this thing where we only have two we only have, only have three honest cards and we have four sapphire power which i thought was kind of interesting and we have so i guess that's basically it so uh most teams reason why i say that is we get a uh, four honest cards see league legends we get four um winter we got four uh, even the pack of things like winter is a pack of things winter we got four uh the of rookies we got four and then for the last amethyst theme um, we got also got four so we usually get four um, amethyst cards are four of the top war cards so for this team we only got three which is pretty interesting so for the Allen iverson we'll go over the event rewards right now he is going to be a reward in the overtime event he's going to be top award you're going to have jason williams as well and then the um other ruby card is going to be the james harden what might also be the case for the overtime event is that we get one of these sapphire cards which is going to be the case for the overtime event we get one of these sapphire cards but it's going to be between the pete maravitz kyrie irving john morant and the derrick rose we just don't know what sapphire card is going to be because obviously for the overtime event the progression reward is a lot different um so for the progression awards you get three players from the uh from the sapphire i guess from the lowest tier are from the second lowest tier from the third lowest tier and from the fourth lowest tier after the top four so in this case we'll get a amethyst card a ruby card and a sapphire card but because the actual top war is going to be from the leaderboard award so we might again when he's uh we're going to end up being one of these sapphires card we just don't know which one it is going to be yet and then for the other event uh we're going to have the fantasy finals event which is going to feature the baron davis the Dwayne wade and the uh steve francis so another one of those new cards but yeah um that is basically the events let's go over to sets real quick we'll go over the sets and we'll go over the entire collection we're also going to have the Allen iverson in the sets i'm guessing it's people don't really like over time that much i would say would have done the same thing with the um previous event i completed with the uh power cap event because that that event did not go well at all but um we got this set right here for the Allen iverson you're going to need the uh amethyst Dwayne way who is of course going to be in the fancy finals event and they're going to need the chris paul which he's not going to be in any of the events as we know well he's not going to be in any of the events the p maravich isn't going to be in any of the, well he might be in the overtime event so we actually don't know about that yet the kim walker is going to need one click and the cj mccullum is going to need two so if you get the doing weight from the fantasy finals event then you're going to need a total of 11 collectibles so get those by playing through both of the events um from the overtime actually you get honestly you get them by just playing through the overtime you don't really have to play through a whole mini domination man all you have to do is get like a 10 streak three times in the overtime event and make sure you get the top 200 or top 2000 more it is a lot harder to get it in that event since a lot more people are playing um but you gotta you just gotta make sure you get that from the leaderboard from the uh points thing and then you got to have to make sure you get the uh twin string a couple of times which you're going to be able to do by just playing through the event normally so this set seems like you might even be able to complete it in the um first event maybe well actually i don't know once you get that to win weight definitely be complete a set for another Allen iverson if you manage to get that one from the top four as well as get the one from the set so this set this might be pretty easy to complete free to play so definitely recommend grinding out that overtime event it'll make the set a lot easier to complete free to play but yeah let's go over to the store um we also have the pack of card which is going to be this stephen curry right here you have a nine percent chance at pulling him a uh, 9.4 percent chance at doing weight 9.3 chance at the other amethyst cards 10 percent chance at all of the ruby cards 4.3 percent chance at all the sapphire cards and a 5.3 percent chance at the emerald cards to go over back over to the collection we'll go over the whole collection now so start off we of course got the Stephen curry we also got this new ability which and i looked at the ability i don't like this ability to be 100 percent honest with you i understand that we only have point guards shooting guards and stuff like that in this event but i personally don't like this ability that much so basically what this ability would do is give your players a 35 percent boost um in style bonus just for this event because we're not going to get ankle breakers event i doubt we're going to get an ankle breakers event we might get one uh for like the whole rest of the season but that's about it um this is only going to be useful for the two weeks this event is going to be out i guess for the two yeah for the two weeks this event is going to be out if we ever get a new one i guess it'll be useful for them that's would be like a whole different thing hopefully they don't use this uh, type of ability that much because this is like not a power boost at all it's just like boost style bonus when this this thing literally says this card provides an additional 50 percent style bonus when this card participates in the event with the same thing so 
We get, I don't think we'll get another ankle breaker team. So I don't really see how this would be useful past this uh, two weeks right here. But we do have a pretty stacked lineup right here. Starting off, got the Steph Curry. Of course, he is going to be the package of the car. So you're going to need to open packs to get him. I might open a pack to try to get that Steph Curry to be 100% honest with you. Um, got the Allen Iverson right here. He, of course, is going to be in the overtime and the set. Um, definitely one of the cards you want to be getting. Um, we don't have any shooting guard on his cards yet uh, from the event. So... And we haven't, I don't think we got a really an this one in a while. So we got the Dwayne Wade and the Allen Iverson here. So definitely an opportunity to stack up on some shooting guards if you do need some. And then the next card, we got the Baron Davis, who is going to be in the Fantasy Finals event. Definitely want to try this card out. We guys, this is the first time we're seeing him. So we'll go ahead and check out the stats. Five in limbs and dunks, five in mid-range, five in agility, five in playmaking, five in defending, which is pretty good for a point guard, five in defending, uh, four in strength, uh, four in shot, triple, three in rebounding, two in full scoring. Not really the biggest asset matter as far as rebounding and post scoring that shot dribble is kind of concerning only out of four but we'll definitely see how he plays in his gameplay um then we got the Dwayne Wade right here I actually this season I like Dwayne Wade's gameplay a lot more I'm not sure if they changed him or anything but he is a lot more fun to play with um and he is also going to be a shooting guard so definitely recommend also going for this card as well because we haven't had any shooting guards that we just said um he is going to also need 20 rings and this rings to craft so you should probably I don't know how we're supposed to stack up on these rings I also don't know how I'm supposed to complete this set we didn't complete the last set either. But um, one of the biggest problems right now is that we're starting to get uh, sets that require rings from past um, past rarities. And, like, I don't have rings at all to um, be able to use those sets. So I don't know what we're going to do. After this, like, Dwayne Wade set, like, if we get, like, another Amethyst ring set, then I don't know what we're about to do about that set. But got this set right here. First Dwayne Wade. Um, for the next player we got is this Stephon Marbury. Unfortunately, he's not going to be in any of the events. So if you want to get this card, you actually have to pull him from packs. Hopefully... When we do that pack opening for the Stephen Curry, we're going to have to pull the Stephon Marbury card because he is looking pretty good. Five in mid-range, five in three-point, five in flaming game, five in agility, five in shot dribble. Pretty basic stats for a point guard. And then everything else, pretty decent. Also, a Baron Davis with a five in layups dunks is also pretty cool. So ho hopefully, he might be pretty good with that. But uh, Jason Williams right here, another new addition we got. So far, I got three new additions that we've already gone through. Uh, five in mid-range, three-point shot, flaming game. Only a four in shot dribble, which, as I said, is kind of concerning for a point guard. But... I guess it's perfectly fine. We got James Harden right here. Um, a Ruby shooting guard. Uh, obviously, we've seen his stats a bunch of times. Chris Paul, same thing. We've seen his stats a bunch of times. Steve Francis, a new addition to the game. Five in sub dribble, agility, playmaking, a mid range, and his three point shots should be pretty fun to play with. I definitely want to try this card out. He is going to be in the uh fantasy balance event. So I like that with this team. They're um for the new cards, they're putting a lot of them in the event. I think that there's only been one so far. Which is that Stephon Marbury that we saw that wasn't going to be in the event. So that's pretty dope. Pete Maravich right here. I don't think we've seen Pete Maravich at all. I don't know why they lowered his three-point shot from a five to a four. But um, he is right here. Um, he got the uh, five mid-range shot, dribble, and his playmaking. And then a four and uh, three-point agility and his defending. So pretty decent stats. Um, if you had like that same five three-point shot, he might be a lot better to be honest. But pretty decent. Kyrie Irving. Because I really like putting Kyrie Irving in Celtics jersey. They do it like at least like one time per season. But uh, yeah, Kyrie Irving right here. I feel like... To be honest, in the ankle breakers type thing, I feel like Kyrie should have been higher. But Sapphire card, I guess that's decent. Five mid-range, three-point uh, playmaking agility, and his shot dribble. John Morant, right here. We, of course, I don't know why we went over Kyrie's stats just now. We've seen Kyrie in this game before. But John Morant, um, I don't really like his gameplay that much, to be 100% honest with you. But uh, Derrick Rose, right here. Same thing. I don't really like Derrick Rose's gameplay that much either, to be honest. But he has some pretty decent. They upgraded his stats. Look, they, they upgraded his stats. I don't know. But um, Kyrie Evans. Right here, which should be interesting. He is a taller point guard, uh, five point making mid range agility and a shot dribble. I doubt we'll be getting main Tyreek Evans cards this season. So, if you want this Tyreek Evans card, I recommend you try to get him right now. Unfortunately, he isn't craftable. So, I don't know what you're about to do about that if you really want that card. CJ McCollum, right here, not a big fan of his gameplay either, especially with that three in defense. Same thing with Kim Walker, not a big fan of his gameplay either, especially with that three in defense. But yeah, it's basically the entire theme. We got a couple of new players with the Stefan Marbury, the Baron Davis. Jason Williams, Steve Francis, and I think that's it. And Ty Tyreek Evans has been in the game before, but uh, he hasn't been in the game this season. And same thing for Team Mary. So we got a bunch of debuts for some players in this game for the first time uh, in NBA 2K Mobile's history. And then some debuts for this game for the uh, first time this season. But yeah, let me know down in the comments in what you guys think of this team as well as the cards you guys are going to be going for. Me personally, I'm going to be going for all the honest cards, um, including that Stephen Curry. We're going to try to open packs to pull that Stephen Curry. He has a 9% chance, so it shouldn't really hopefully take that much uh the stefan marbury hopefully able to pull him on uh, jason williams obviously he's going to be 
and is he gonna be in the event? Yeah, he's gonna be in the overtime event, so we don't have to worry, worry about him. Then everybody else, Tyreek Evans, I'll be happy if we're able to pull him from the uh, packs. But yeah, that's basically gonna be the end video. If you guys did feel drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace out.